table where the rainbow word is shared. Come drink from the fountain where the living waters flow. Come visit the table where the rainbow word is shared. Come drink from the fountain where the living waters flow. You have to learn how to read the handwriting that is on the wall. You, you have to learn how to discern when God is getting ready to do something different in your life. The steps of a good man, they are ordered by the Lord. You have to know when God is up to something. You, you got to know when God is getting ready to just move differently in your life. You got to know it. You got to be able to discern it. You got to be able to, Paul said, to preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. You have to be able to discern what season you are in. And if you're not spiritual enough to be able to discern what season to everything, there's a season. And if you're not able to discern the seasons in your life, it's very easy for you to get discouraged in the season when God really wants to bless you. If you're not able to design the season, if, 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 you, if you continue to look at your dark season and the dark clouds that is in your life, and you base your life based on the dark clouds that is in your life, and you do not tap into the realm of the spirit and understand that some dark clouds produces rain, then you will allow the dark cloud in your life to overwhelm you to the point where you give up and you miss the rain that is about to flow and fall in your life. So all of us experience different seasons in our lives and you have to learn how by the Spirit of God to discern what season you are in. If you are in a season where God is, 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 is fixing you and developing your character and, and doing an a, 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 a internal surgery in your life. If you don't know that God is working on you internally before he bless you externally, you will allow the internal transformation to cause you to shut down before you see the external blessing. Shake your neighbor say, you got to learn how to design the seasons. Hallelujah. The Bible said, after you have suffered a while. And the problem with the church is, we don't want suffering. We just want the after. But praise God, that blessing that comes after will not come until you go through the season of suffering. Glory to God. You want to be blessed, but you don't want no problem. You want the power, but you don't want no pain. You want increase, but you don't want, uh, you don't want to lose anything. You want promotion, but you don't want to go down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I'm saying to you, if you are going to see the blessings of God that God intend for you to have in this season, you got to be able to discern the time and the season that you are in praise God and if you are in a blessed season celebrate if you are in a cursed season or in a dark place learn how to celebrate because this too shall pass hallelujah and you can always tell the level of blessing based on the level of persecution based on the y'all ain't saying nothing in here you can always tell the level of blessing based on the level of warfare that praise God hits your life hallelujah you, you will never have a message if you don't have some mess in your life glory to God and what God is getting ready to do in some of your life you must go through the trial that you're going through hallelujah in order for you to come out in victory you got to say Lord I count it all joy whilst I'm going through these trials because I believe this too shall pass and your blessing is on the way do I have a witness in here no, y'all ain't praising God like you believe it. So I sense in my spirit that something good is getting ready to happen for you. 
I, I, the, the handwriting that is on the wall is saying to me that something good is getting ready to happen see you got to understand weeping endure for a night you cannot shut down in the night because the Bible said weeping endure for a night but joy comes in the morning do I have a witness I can sense that something is on the arising. I could sense that something is on the way. Glory to God. How you know? Because the warfare has intensified. Glory to God. Y'all ain't saying nothing. The warfare has intensified. And because the warfare has intensified, that's a clear indication that God is getting ready to blow my mind. And I refuse to shut down. Hallelujah. Because the warfare intensifies. I'm going to stand my ground and I'm going to wait right here until the change until my change comes. The enemy wants you to go back. The enemy wants you to throw in the towel but praise God you're too close to the greatest season of your life for you to shut down now. Grab your neighbor and say you're too close. God spoke to me and I put it on social media. The Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and he said, praise God, some folks are experiencing depression and praise God and the strong spirit of weariness and, and they feel like walking away from God and walking away from their assignment. And the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and he said, hallelujah, that didn't come from me, that came from the devil. Praise God. And he said, what they experience in Kerr is a spirit of backlash and retaliation from the enemy because they have broken through to another realm in the spirit of God now it may not feel like to you but you can always tell when you're getting ready to go to the next level or you're already in another place when you're getting ready to go to the next level the warfare intensify when you break through into the next level there's a spirit of backlash and retaliation but you got to learn how regardless of where you are whether it's the warfare before the breakthrough or it is the backlash after the breakthrough I'm gonna still praise God I'm going to still bless him because glory to God, hallelujah, it's about to change. The Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and he said, son, this is the season of supernatural increase. Supernatural increase means that God himself is going to increase you in this season. Hallelujah. There are three, praise God, ways we increase. Hallelujah. One, we inf increase through manipulation. You can manipulate a promotion. You can manipulate more money. Praise God. You can undermine your way to the next level. Hallelujah. That's not the increase we want. Then, praise God, another way we increase is by working our gifts and our talents. Hallelujah. God put gifts in you. God has given you a gift. And it's important for you to work that gift and allow that gift to make room for you and bring you before great men. The Bible talks about this man who was leaving and he gave gifts, praise God, to his, 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 his our workers or to his servants. And to one he gave five according to the grace that that person had. Then to one he gave two according to the grace because God will never give you more than you can handle. Then he gave one one according to the grace that he had. The one who had five worked his five and he got five more. The one who had two worked his two and he got what? Two more. The one who had one, the Bible said he hid his one in the earth, glory to God. And when the master came, asked him what he did with the one, he said, you are a hard man. Praise God, you reap what you did not even sow. He said, I was afraid so I hid your money. Praise God in the earth. Hallelujah. Praise God. God, the master said, you know I'm a hard man. Praise God, I reap where I did not sow. He said, why didn't you take the one I give you and invest it so you can get more? The Bible said he took the one from him, give it to the one that had ten. Praise God, and said to the one who had the one who didn't work the one, praise God, hallelujah, you wicked and slothful servant. I say to you, praise God, you don't need to be broken, busted, and fail to be trusted. There's a gift that God placed on the inside of you praise God and if you work it hallelujah it could bring you before great man are you hearing me in here look at your neighbor say God said this is the hour for you to work your gift
Hallelujah. Nobody got to give you nothing. Hallelujah. Stop looking for people to sympathize with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Work what you have and watch God bless your life little by little. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. You may not be the smartest person, but you got a gift on the inside of you and that's all God needs. Hallelujah. Once you give him back that gift, hallelujah, that he gave you by working it in the earth, God will promote you. God will bless you more and more. Do I have a witness in here? And your gift will begin to make room for you and bring you before a great man. Some of you can praise God, beat Kentucky frying chicken and you sitting back in your house talking about you ain't got nothing to do. Honey, fry some chicken. Let the community know that you praise God frying chicken and you begin to sell chicken some of you can praise God hallelujah clean some of you praise God are public speakers some of you praise God are technical some of you, you got your gift you may not have what your sister have but you have what God give you you may not have what your brother have but you have what God give you and what you ought to do is work what God give you hallelujah and watch God bless you and promote you do I have a witness Look at your neighbor say you don't need to be envious or jealous of anybody. You may not have the five and you may not have the two but you got something. You have the one. Work your what you got and watch God multiply it. Watch God bless you and watch God increase you more and more. Grab your neighbor say you don't need to be jealous of anybody. You need to be jealous of your sister house you don't need to be jealous of your brother car you don't need to be jealous of that minister you don't need to be jealous of that not a preacher you don't need to be jealous of that not a business you don't need to be jealous of that other marriage how do you work what you got and watch God bless your marriage bless your ministry bless your company bless your life because if he give it to you he already give you what it takes to work it and cause increase to come to your life can I get a witness in the Lord's church your problem is not that you don't have it your problem is one you either ain't discover it or you refuse to work it and for some of you when you start working it because it ain't producing fruit quick enough you shut down it's in the text so God spoke to me and he said, this is a season of increase. And your increase comes to your gifts. The Bible said, Paul plant, a Paul is water. It is God that give it the increase. The Bible said, and Jesus, Jesus who is the word, who is the son of God, increase in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. Hallelujah, the scripture verse that we read in Psalms 115 said, and God will increase us more and more. Can I prophesy to about five of y'all in here? Hallelujah, when you would have worked your gift, God said, I will step in and I will increase you and I will increase you more and more and I will increase you y'all ain't want me shout today but I came to shout I will increase you in such a way that you will leave an inheritance for your children's children can I prophesy to about 50 of you in here and if you receive a jump on your feet turn around and sit back down I need you to understand between now and before the end of this year God is about to breathe on your stuff and cause increase to come to your life and you will have a testimony that if it had not been for the Lord on your side. That's the kind of increase that blows your mind. Grab your neighbor and say something getting ready to come to your life. Hallelujah, there's a blessing that is on its way to you. God is about to increase you like he have never increased you before. And I know you're looking at your present state of circumstances. Hallelujah, and you're thinking it could never happen. That's why it means supernatural. Because if you can do it in your own strength, then you don't need God. Hallelujah, she can. Hallelujah, but if, if God don't do it, hallelujah, it will not be done. And the 
testimony will be it was the Lord's doing I need you to jump on your feet turn around sit down and say God gonna do this God gonna do this in my house God gonna do it in my business God gonna do it in my marriage God gonna do it in the life of my son God gonna do it in the life of my daughter God gonna do it in my money God gonna do it in my body I need somebody to shake the person to the left and right of you and say honey you are in the best season of your life it may not feel like it it may not look like it but if you can praise God it's about to be it a, a few things we see in the text the Bible said watch this the multitude pressed to hear the word of the Lord now we must understand that praise God we are spiritual beings we have a soul and we live in the in a body praise God everything in relates to God praise God is spiritual our walk with God is a spiritual walk we have never seen God at any time praise God but we stand in faith that's spiritual glory to God hallelujah so our walk with God praise God our faith our belief is spiritual hallelujah and God wants to bless us spiritually and the kind of blessing that God want to give us is the kind of blessing that our natural mind praise God will not be able praise God to articulate if you can praise God understand it if you can figure it out it was not supernatural praise God it's supernatural when you look back and say well my door, how that happen glory to God it's supernatural when you say how I got saved hallelujah old trunket like me look at me up in church now eh glory to God that's supernatural you ain't know how it happened you ain't know when you walked the aisle you didn't know when you accept him as Lord and personal Savior and all of a sudden your life is changing you're in church you're wanting to know God you wanted to know more of God hallelujah you believing in this God that you have never seen it is supernatural praise God and praise God this is the kind of life that God want us as believers to live praise God he don't want us to be surprised when he bless us ridiculously he want that to become a lifestyle he want us to lay hands on the sick and they recover he want us to praise God lay hands on the blind and they open their eyes and see he want us to open our mouth and preach and people come to receive salvation hallelujah he want this to happen in our lives this ought not to be a surprise to us because we are spiritual beings do I have a witness in here hallelujah glory to God hallelujah but Jesus in this text is getting ready to bless these disciples praise God who would have given up in such a way that was getting ready to blow their mind hallelujah if this is going to happen then there's a few things that we must be committed to do the first thing we see in the text the Bible said that praise God the multitude pressed praise God to hear the word of God my brothers and sisters if ever time we need to press in to hear the word of God is now you cannot depend on Sunday morning you cannot depend alone on Tuesday and Wednesday you got to learn how outside of church outside of your pastor praise God to get into that word yourself and allow that word praise God to speak to you are you hearing me in here praise God you cannot and God praise God hallelujah will hold you accountable for you going around here talking about I'm not growing in my church praise God your pastor have a part to play but you also have a part to play the Bible said the church in Thessalonica praise God they heard the apostles preach and they went home and studied the scripture for themselves to make sure what they were saying was truth are you hearing me hallelujah praise God you don't depend on your pastor alone to teach you or preach to you glory to God you go home and you press into that word for yourself and when you come to church you will shout on word and not emotions do I have a witness you will know what is logos and you will know what is a rhema the logos is the written word the rhema is when I say to you 
God is about to shift your life. God is about to turn your life. God said in his word that I'm about to open the windows of heaven upon you and pour you a blessing that you will have room enough to receive. And the Bible said, and the word became flesh and dwell among us and we beheld the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Hallelujah. Let me tell you why the church is so weak. The church is not weak because we ain't got people in it every Sunday. The church is weak because we got people in it every Sunday who's not hearing the word. We are hearing opinions. Glory to God. We have motivational speakers in the pulpit. Glory to God who spend no time in the word of God. Who don't meditate upon the word so that when they open their mouth they're not opening their mouth and speaking something they get off internet they're opening their mouth and they speaking something that they got off the secret place of God they went into the word themselves and they searched the scripture hallelujah and when they open their mouth the word come out of their mouth as a two-edged sword it pairs even dividing a soul and spirit it designed the thoughts of the intents of the heart that's what I'm looking for I want when I open my mouth hallelujah the word of God comes out of my mouth and the rest is on you hallelujah you take it and you live by it and watch victory break break forth in your life or you leave out of here and just hear it today and live the rest of the week depressed but the devil is a lie hallelujah I'm going to take this word I'm going to eat it I'm going to apply it to my life and I'm going to let it sanctify me because the Bible said we are sanctified by the washing of the water of the word of God how can a young man cleanse his way but by taking heed according to the word for the word is a lamp unto my feet you can't shout because you don't want the word you can't shout because you're reading magazines tribune guardian the punch you don't want the word but I promise you hallelujah as a believer God will make sure you get into that word even if he got to break you even if he have to shut things down in your life even if he have to allow an affliction so you can go into that word and search that word for yourself until change happen in your life grab your neighbor and say neighbor you don't have to die sick you don't have to live broke you don't have to be depressed you don't have to walk away from God for the Bible said the word it's a lamp to my feet. It's a light to my path. Glory to God. For more information about Arama Moment or how to obtain a copy of today's message, call the number on your screen or email Rama at lwkm.org.